Founded in 1913, the Anti-Defamation League is a civil rights advocacy group dedicated to combating anti-Semitism and all forms of hate. Earlier this week, I sat down with the organization's CEO, Jonathan Greenblatt, for an exclusive broadcast interview to discuss the work being done to push back against extremism here in Northeast Ohio and around the world. We also advocate. We lobby Congress and state houses across the country. Jonathan Greenblatt is a leading voice in today's fight against right anti-Semitism. We're living in a moment today when we seem more polarized than ever, when people are pitted against one another. That's deeply problematic for all of us. In town Monday night for ADL Cleveland's annual meeting at the Temple to Fereth Israel in Beechwood, Greenblatt joined Regional Director James Pash and Vice President of National Affairs George Saleem, a Westlake native, for a conversation on fighting hate in all forms. So ADL works to protect the community by offering the intelligence. The meeting comes as new data released by the FBI Monday revealed more than 7,000 hate crimes were reported nationwide in 2021. A figure experts say is just a fraction of the true number because of a lack of reporting from several major U.S. cities. Extremists feel emboldened. We see them running for office. We see them showing up in public places. And we've seen that all over the country. Of major concern, the ever-widening reach of social media. Social media is a super spreader of intolerance and hate. In a world in which conspiracy theories are the coin of the realm, anti-Semitism, which you might call the oldest conspiracy theory, has gained new ground. Yet Greenblatt has also used these very platforms to respond to a number of recent incidents involving public figures, including former Cavs star Kyrie Irving, who made headlines last month after sharing the link to an anti-Semitic film. It quoted Hitler and Henry Ford, among others. We found this really problematic. And through a process of engagement, we reached out to his team, to the league, to his family and friends. And I'll be honest, it wasn't easy. It was a bit uneven. But I don't believe in cancel culture. I believe in council culture. Even when people make mistakes, we need to embrace them and help them understand how they can do better. That's what we try to do with Kyrie, and I'm glad he's gotten to a better place. Or Ye, or Kanye West, disturbing comments and posts about the Jewish community. Greenblatt says, I'm not able to diagnose Kanye's condition, right? I don't have that kind of clinical expertise. But I think, you know, without stigmatizing mental illness, what I'll tell you is that it is not an excuse for intolerance. And all it takes is for one deranged person to do a lot of damage to a community. We've seen that in Buffalo. We've seen it in El Paso. We saw it in Pittsburgh. That's why we take it so seriously. Making it more important than ever, Greenblatt says, to speak out and stand up against hate. Russ, I am optimistic that hope will beat hate. I am optimistic that this country, America, for all of its flaws, is still the greatest democracy in the world. And the next generation is more diverse, more educated, more tolerant than any that came before. All of us, all of us have the potential to push back on hate. And on that note, Greenblatt says it may be uncomfortable, but it's extremely important to push back on hate when it comes to our allies, our friends and family, those people we think should all know better.